Hey guys, take a minute to the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you cannot change the time zone when you go to the time zone where it says the time zone cannot be set manually due to device restriction. Now, if you're getting this problem, there's a couple things you want to do in order to fix it, and we'll show you how to do that. So, first thing is go to your main settings here, and then all you'll do is go to screen time, and you need to uh, turn off any restrictions that you have. If you have this turned on, right, enter your passcode for your of course your screen time that's going to be different than what i entered you want to turn that off and go down here which says change screen time pass code if you have one enable you click on it and you'll use turn off screen time passcode so you click on that it's going to ask you to enter your screen time passcode remember that might be different from your lock screen passcode if you set a different one or if it's a control by someone else they'll need to enter that and once that's turned off we're good to go now we need to go back to our settings and then go to general and then take a look to see if it's fixed. Now, if it's not fixed, you need to do one more thing here. You need to go back to your settings, then go to privacy and security settings. You need to turn off location services and then check if it fixes that for you. After that, you go back to date and time, see if it's fixed. Now, if it's not fixed, you're going to go back again to privacy and setting, and then location services, and turn on location services. Another thing to check under uh, location services is under system services, ensure that setting time zone is turned on here. Now, if this is turned off, you'll not be able to set that manually. So make sure that option is turned on as well. And after that, go back to your settings, and then general date and time, and it should allow you to manually change. And now, if you're still having issues with this, the next thing you wanna do is, Go into your setting of your iPhone, go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone, and then click on the first option to reset. The reset that we want to do is reset a location and privacy setting. If you click on that, it's just going to reset the settings of that location and privacy setting. It will not delete any of your personal data, so you can just click on that. It takes about a moment for it to undo that, and then we go back to the setting, and then go to general date and time, and hopefully it is working for you. And another thing you can do is if it's still not working, close out the settings app and then do a forced restart on your iPhone. So you're going to press and release the volume up, followed by press and release the volume down. And then you'll hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo up here. So do volume up, volume down. And I hold the side button just like that. And you're going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black. So I'm going to wait till the screen goes black here. As you can see, I'm holding that side button. And it's going to take about a few minutes, a few seconds or so for the Apple logo to appear. And then you let go of that button. Again, remember, you have to press and release the volume up, followed by volume down one after another quickly. And then hold that side button until the screen goes black and the Apple logo appears. And then this is known as a forced restart. It's really safe to do. All it does is shut down the phone and then reloads the code. So if you're having software-related issue, it'll fix it for you. It will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your videos, photos will be safe. And then go back into your settings, uh, general date and time, and hopefully it is working for you. That's it for this piece of advice for you guys in terms of fixing that time zone issue. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.